In this video, I would like to work through a problem where we integrate time value of money and Excel. And specifically, I want to use Excel to calculate the present value of a series of future cash flows. We can use this to find the present value of an annuity. We can use this, this approach to find the present value of uh, an uneven series of cash flows. We can use this to find the present value for uh, a series of, of maybe five years or even one 50 years. Uh, it's very flexible, very versatile. There are other methods than the one I'm going to show you, but I think this technique um, has a wide range of applications. So the first thing I do is open an Excel spreadsheet. You could also use uh, use Apple's version. Uh, I think it's called Pages. And <clears throat> starting in the first column, I like to create a timeline. And you can do this uh, horizontally. I, I generally create, uh, enter the data vertically. So I'm going to set up here a, a five-year problem. Zero, of course, represents uh, the present. It represents today. Uh, the number one would represent uh, one year from now. Two would be two years from now and so forth. So this is going to be a simple five-year problem. Uh, we could very easily make it a 40, 50, plus year problem, but, but for the sake of illustration, we'll, we'll just keep it at five years. So the first column represents our, our timeline, times zero through five. In the second column, column B, I am going to enter the cash flows. So <clears throat> this series of cash flows begins with a $1,000 payment today. So this $1,000 uh, is actually paid in the current period times zero that would be today one year from now we will receive a payment of one thousand five hundred two years from now two thousand dollars and so forth these cash flows are getting progressively larger so this is not an annuity this is an uneven cash flow the fifth year we get a ten thousand dollar cash flow Now in cell C1, I'm going to create a formula. This formula is the equation for present value of a future cash flow. So we do that by first entering an equal sign, equal or, or plus sign, either one will we'll, uh, let Excel know we're creating a formula. And what I want to do is to find the present value of this $1,000. So equal sign B1, that will, uh, that will enter the, the value that's in cell B1. Backslash is the symbol for division. And then in brackets, 1 plus 0 0.06. Now, I'm using a 6% discount rate for this problem. So all the cash flows are going to be discounted at a, a rate of 6%. 1 plus the discount rate, 0 0.06. And then we're going to raise this to the A1 power. A1, again, is the cell containing the time. So we use this, we use this upside down V as the symbol for an exponent. So we're raising this 1 plus 0 0.06 to the A1 or to the 0 power. Now, when we enter this equation, of course, we're going to get $1,000 because 1000 $1,000 today is worth $1,000. Now what we want to do now is to copy the formula that's in cell C1 and paste it in the cells below C2, C3, and so forth. So what we would do is, simplest way, there are other ways to do this, but you want to position your cursor over the bottom right hand corner of cell C1 until you you see sort of a bold uh, cross 
at that position. Once you see that, you will left click and hold and then drag that down, drag that down through cells C2, C3, C4, C5, and C6. And you'll see something like this. So this $1,500 one year from now, discounted at a 6% discount rate, is worth $1,415.09 today. $10,000 five years from now is worth $7,472.58, discounted at a 6% discount rate. So I just copied the formula from cell C1 into those cells below and in just a second, less than a second, those values are given. And then below, <clears throat> below our last value in cell uh, C7, I'm going to add together all of the present values that were computed in cells C1 through C6. And so again, we use an Excel formula equals sum that's going to add together uh, all of the, the contents from cells C1 through C6 and once we enter that uh, that form we get a value of twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty and four cents so this is the present value of this uneven cash flow this five year uh, series of, of caches, cash flows and uh, very easily in just uh, a few few minutes we can find this even if this were a um, a 50 year problem it would we would have a little more data to enter but we could still still find the, the present value of this cash flow so hopefully uh, this will help you when you have problems of this nature to to find present values of future cash flows using Excel.